Good afternoon, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with A Trumpet for My People, and I'm sharing with you a report on the uh, new moon sighting and the upcoming calendar of Tishri. And I want to explain to you uh, from Scripture how we can understand what this month will hold for us. Uh, first of all, we are waiting on the new moon sighting in Israel. Right here we are pending. The uh, sighting is expected today and uh, we are planning on it being today. And um, if for some reason the, uh, the new moon is not sighted today, then the calendar would be pushed back uh, by one day. And I will explain to you what that would look like if it was delayed by one day. But right now we are going to take a look at the calendar of the first uh, 10 days of the month of Tishri. And I want to share with you guys, based on the Jubilee year 5777, the seventh month is the month of Tishri. And it is the seventh month of the year 5777. Many people are confused about when the turn of the year is and they uh, go with the tradition and the custom of the sages and the rabbis of old that the civil calendar will somehow change dates. But biblically, there is only one new year Okay, so what I'm gonna I'm gonna share with you is what the Bible says. If you want to follow the customs of the rabbis and the sages and the traditions, then um, that's gonna leave you uh, confused and it's gonna leave you with wrong information as to what you can really expect. So this is what I want to share with you. Jubilee year five seven seven seven. The Bible calls Tishri the seventh month. The, the month of trumpets is the seventh month. It is never ever shown to be the new year in the Bible. It is not Rosh Hashanah, the head of the year. The head of the year is Nisan. The head of the year is Passover from the time of Exodus. So, so here we have uh, this calendar and I want to just read through this and I want to make this as simple as I can to share with you guys and um, just to explain this out, okay, so the Jubilee year 5777, seventh month of Tishri, Feast of Trumpets with the new moon spotted now or to, tonight, today, then that would be the Feast of Trumpets would be September 21st to September 22nd. Okay, the Feast of Trumpets is a one-day feast. This is another tradition that people have added on a second day. But let's look at what the Bible says. Leviticus 23, 24 says, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, in the first day of the month, shall ye have a Sabbath, a memorial blowing of trumpets, and holy convocation. So I'm sharing with you exactly what the Bible says. The Feast of Trumpets is the first day of the seventh month. There is not a second day added to the Feast of Trumpets. Anywhere in Scripture, this is another tradition that's going to bring confusion. See, this is the spirit of Antichrist is changing the times and the seasons and the laws. And it brings confusion. And all these things are set up so that when, when we should really be able to understand the calendar and what we can expect biblically, everybody's confused. Everybody's confused. Oh no, the New Year's in Tishri. Happy Rosh Hashanah. It's the seventh month. Happy New Year. How can this seventh month be the New Year? And then the, fe the Feast of Trumpets. Oh no, it's a two-day feast. Well, no, it's not a two-day feast. The, the, the Bible clearly says it's the first day of the seventh month. So we have Tishri 1 is September 21st and 22nd. 
And that means that September 23rd, the Revelation 12 sign is Tishri 2, and this is not the Feast of Trumpets. Now, I do want to say this, that if the, if the moon... If the moon is not spotted tonight and we start Tishri on September 22nd, then this sign will fall on the Feast of Trumpets. September 22nd, new moon, would be then the 22nd through the 23rd. The sign appears around noontime on the 23rd, and that would be then the, the uh, sign on the Feast of Trumpets. So that is still pending as to how that will all play out. But I do want to share with you that will not change what we can expect in this Jubilee year as far as rapture is concerned. Even if the sign falls on the Feast of Trumpets, it will not change the biblical revelation of what we can expect in a jubilee year. So let's continue on here. September 23rd, the Revelation 12 sign is Tishri 2. This is not the Feast of Trumpets. But as I said, even if it does fall on the first day, and the, the moon is delayed tonight, this is the year of jubilee. Leviticus chapter 25 shows us exactly when the Jubilee trumpet will blow in the year of Jubilee. Let's look at Leviticus 25, 8 through 10. And thou shalt number seven Sabbaths of years unto thee, seven times seven years, and the space of the seven Sabbaths of years shall be unto thee forty and nine years. Then shalt thou cause the trumpet of the Jubilee to sound on the tenth day of the seventh month, in the Day of Atonement shall ye make the trumpet sound throughout all your land. And ye shall hallow the fiftieth year, and proclaim liberty throughout all the land unto all the inhabitants thereof. It shall be a jubilee unto you, and ye shall return every man unto his possession. And ye shall return every man unto his family. As it says in verse 9, very clearly, the trumpet of the Jubilee will sound on the 10th day of the 7th month in the Day of Atonement. The trumpet of Jubilee in the Day of Atonement. If the new moon is spotted tonight, then the Day of Atonement, Tishri 10, will be, as shown here on the calendar, September 30th to October 1st. These are Israel times based on Israel's sunset. The Day of Atonement in the year of Jubilee is the last trump. There are no other trumpets that will be blown in the year of Jubilee. The Day of Atonement is the Jubilee trumpet, and that is the last trump. The last trump. As it says in 1 Corinthians 15, 52, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Okay, I pray you are blessed today and ready for the Jubilee trumpet that will sound on the Day of Atonement. What will really happen on September 23rd? How can we see the Day of Atonement as the key day as it relates to the major signs we have seen over the last 40 days? What does the Bible clearly say? Here is the truth, the truth you, you may hear nowhere else. And I have linked here the uh, cover photo from my Facebook page which is this photo here. And lays out for us, starting out with the verse of Leviticus 25.9, the trumpet of Jubilee, the three signs that are leading us to the Day of Atonement based on 40.21. Oops, well, this isn't opening. Okay, well, there. So, 
you can click on the link and see that. I've shared that in, in my previous videos. Okay, I'm out, I'm out of range on my internet and that wouldn't open. So, um, but this is the photo I'm talking about and it explains how the three major signs, the eclipse from the August 21st, Jupiter being born out of Virgo on September 9th and the September 23rd sign is leading us by 40, 21 and seven days to the day of atonement. And there you go, as clear as we can get, as clear as we can get here. The Day of Atonement in the Year of Jubilee is the last trump. There are no other trumpets that will be blown in the Year of Jubilee. The Day of Atonement is the Jubilee trumpet, the last trump. 1 Corinthians 15, 52, in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed. I pray you are blessed today and ready for the Jubilee trumpet that will sound on the day of atonement. God bless you.